If you have been playing career mode for quite some years now, you might remember the Create a Club feature in previous versions of FIFA. In this feature, you could build your own team with a custom badge, kits, name, players, formations and much more. Unfortunately, this feature has been removed a couple of FIFAs ago and it isn't looking like it will get added back anytime soon. So even though we don't have this feature in FIFA 21, I will give you some tips to try and make your own club and squad in this video. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. The career mode community has been begging to get the create a club feature back in FIFA for the last few years, but mostly due to licensing issues, it might be very tricky for EA to implement it again. So here are some tips to get as close as possible to creating your own club. Firstly, you need to choose a club that already exists in FIFA 21 career mode to be a club. I would mostly check each club's badge and kit and see if I like them. I would not recommend to choose a club from the top 5 leagues or these countries lower leagues or other big teams from other countries such as Ajax, PSV, Porto, Benfica, Galatasaray, etc. Instead, go through leagues you don't know many clubs of, for example the Romanian or Korean league in my case. Go through the leagues and write down the clubs where you like the kits and badge from the most. Also check the rest of the world clubs to see if there are any good clubs you can use in there. After you have done that, pick a team you want to have as your club. In this example, I will choose Al Weda, as I really like their badge and mostly their away kit. Now, back out of the safe and remove every player from the club you chose. You will probably get a message quite soon saying that you can't remove any other players whilst you still have a bunch. This is a reminder to remove them after you have added the new ones first. Now you have to decide in which league you are going to put your club. You can keep them in the original league, but as the team might come from a league that doesn't interest you as much, I would recommend to think about in which top league country you want to put them. If you decided which country, put your club in the lowest division of that country. So in my example, I will put Alweda in the Segunda División, the second Spanish division. I would not recommend to think about putting your club in Italy as there is no second Italian division in this FIFA. So place your club in either the third German division, second Spanish or French division or fourth English division. Got a country in mind that you want to start in? Good, let's move to the next step, signing players. In the create a club feature, you have the option to create your own players. You can still actually do this in FIFA 21, so if you want to use created players, create some and add them to your chosen club. Make sure you have at least 17 outfield players and 2 goalkeepers. If you think that takes a bit too much time, then I would add some real players to your squad. How do you decide who gets into your team? Well, that's mostly up to you, but I will give you some tips. Firstly, I would make sure that at least 60% of the squad exists of players who have the same nationality as your club will play it. So in my case, 60% of the players have to be Spanish. I would then go on to SoFIFA to search for Spanish players who have a rating between 55 and 65. You are playing in the lower division so the rating should be low. Because I want 20 players in total in my squad, 12 of them have to be Spanish and so between 55 and 65 rated. I will add 4 Spanish players aged 16 to 24. 4 Spanish players aged 25 to 31 and 4 players aged 32 plus to my squad. Put in these categories on SoFIFA. So for players aged 16 to 24 I will type in 16 as the minimum age and 24 as the maximum. I will add 55 as minimum rating and 65 as maximum rating. I will add 78 as the max potential as it would be quite unrealistic and easy to get one catch in your team from the start. Now I see a bunch of Spanish youngsters listed. My preference is to have players who have a 2D picture, so I won't be picking any players who do not have one. I now need to pick 4 of the players from this list. Bear in mind there are multiple pages of players who fit into this category. So you can either use a random number generator that decides who you get in your team, or you can randomly select players yourself. With the latter, I would recommend to not check the stats of each player as you shouldn't make a choice based on which player has more pace or better stats, just randomly pick some players. Make sure you don't pick players who are in the starting 11 of their normal team though, as you might weaken your opponents, which would make the challenge easier. 
Write the names down of the players you want to have from each category. And as you can see, I now have 12 Spanish players written down in this Excel sheet, with 4 players coming from each age bracket. Now you still don't have enough players to start a career mode with. So go around the other teams who also play in your country and check what nationalities are most common among the players from the other teams. In Spain I see a lot of Portuguese, French and Argentinian players, so my last 8 players will be from those countries. As you already have 4 players older than 31, you don't need to get any more veterans. My suggestion would be to have 3 more players aged 25 to 31 and the other 5 players being aged 16 to 24. You still have to search for the same ratings, so 55 to 65, and these players also still need to have 78 potential or less. Once again I will not be picking players who do not have a 2D picture, and I will just pick some random players from each country, once again not looking at their stats. So I have made my team now and it consists of 20 players. I will add these players to my squad and remove the players from the original squad, who I couldn't remove earlier on yet. I can now start my career mode save and put my team in the Saguna division with random players. As the team I chose doesn't have a real stadium in FIFA 21, I can change the name of the stadium. Just for this example, I will call it Creator Club, but you can change it to almost any name you want. And now I can start my special Creator Club save in FIFA 21. Of course it's not totally the Creator Club feature we used to have as we for example create our own kits and badges on console. I think this is quite a cool concept to do. And you will also get to know a few hidden gems in your save we might have not even used if it wasn't for this career mode save. So this is the end of this video. I hope you found this helpful and let me know in the comments if you will do this in FIFA 21 and with which team. If you enjoyed the video be sure to like it and subscribe to not miss any future career mode ideas, challenges and more. And I will see you at the next video.